Thank you for watching our podcast again this week. Uh, I wanted to just talk a little about a bill that I introduced with Senator Rockefeller this week uh, to try to provide some savings from the Medicare program. Uh, the way that uh, the, the current law reads, uh, the Medicare program uh, has to pay full price, a uh, retail price, for uh, drugs that they provide to Medicare patients. Uh, when we adopted the prescription drug benefit uh, that is part of Medicare a few years ago, uh, a lot of folks who had been eligible for their prescription drugs through Medicaid uh, were receiving those drugs and the government was paying a much lower price for those drugs uh, requiring essentially a discount from the drug manufacturers. What we're saying here is that anyone who is eligible both for Medicaid and for Medicare uh, should be uh, receiving those drugs at that discounted price and that will save the federal government a lot of money over the next 10 years. The Congressional Budget Office estimates that that will save the federal government $112 billion over the next 10 years. So this is one change that we tried to do this at the time we passed the Affordable Care Act, the health care reform law, uh, a few, uh, two years ago. We were not able to get the votes to do it then, but we've proposed it again as a freestanding bill. Uh, clearly with the need to reduce the deficit in, in future years, this is the kind of savings that could be achieved without harming Medicare beneficiaries or Medicaid beneficiaries. Uh, it's something we clearly ought to do in my opinion. Again, thanks for watching and uh, we will try to do another one of these next week.